These three men transmitted lessons and skills to me that have remained useful my entire life. Morris's mandate to Jim Clancy was teach that kid to work. To that end, Jim harnessed me to Walt Polashevitz, but pronounced Polashevitz, but shortened in Pennsylvania vernacular to Poliski, and Bill Jelink. And they began the process of training me to accept the harness of discipline and the requisite endurance for work. Walt was Mr. Slow and Steady personified. He did everything, driving a fence post, stretching barbed wire, hammering nails, feeding cows, taking a smoke break, or stopping for a beer at the same unhurried, deliberate pace. He never rushed, never stalled, and never slowed down. His pace was frustrating to a boy with energy to burn and an eagerness to prove his worth. It didn't take long, however, before eight-hour days of farm labor certified the wisdom of Walt's measured tempo. I was soon stretched to my absolute capacity, clearing rocks, mucking manure, wrestling heavy bales. Fresh oat hay bales weighed about 90 pounds, my body weight, and tamping rock with a heavy steel bar a head taller than I was, lifting and dropping the bar so that its flattened head tamped gravel around fence posts until my back and shoulder muscles burned from the strain. On some days it felt as if all of life was reduced to driving fence staples and cinching fencing to the cedar posts I had spent days tamping into place. Difficult as the work was, the idea of a tantrum or quitting and losing face before these men was unthinkable. 